Whether you want to access network resources or you just want a secure way to browse on public Wi-Fi, you're going to want to set up a VPN. Today I'll show you how to set one up. So first you're going to want to start by going to the desktop on your server and going down here and clicking on status. Here you're going to find the IP address on your network and also the default gateway. Now you can close this box and log into your router. This will be at the default gateway. Enter your username and password and then look for port forwarding. Here you're going to want to set up PPTP or point to point tunneling protocol and forward that to the IP address of your server. Now you can click add and it'll be added. If you don't have a nice list of services like this, make sure you forward port 1723. If you get an error like this, you're going to have to delete the previous device that is using that port. Next, you're going to want to go to a tab that says something like LAN setup. This is where you can set a static IP address for the server on your network. So down here, you'll click add and then you'll select your server and click add again. Now your server should show up on this list. Now you're going to want to go down here to your network icon, right click and select open network connections. In this sidebar, you can say create a new connection and then click next. Now you're going to want to create an advanced connection. Here, you're going to say accept incoming connections, then click next. Here, you can leave this box checked or unchecked. It doesn't really matter that much. Here is the important part. Make sure that you check the box that says accept VPN connections. That way, you can access your computer over a VPN. Now, select the users you want to be able to log into the VPN and click next. Here, just make sure all these boxes are checked. That way, you'll have access to everything. Now, right click on the incoming connection and select properties. From here, go to the networking tab to select TCIP and then click properties. Here, make sure you set it up to specify a range of IP addresses, then select IP addresses that won't conflict with the rest of your network and click OK. Jump into a web browser and find what your public IP is. You can do this by typing in what's my IP to Google. Now hop over to your client computer and connect to a different network than the one your server's on. Now that you're connected, click Open Network and Sharing Center. Here you'll select Set up a new connection to a network. And on the screen that pops up, you'll select Connect to a Workplace. Here you'll say No, I'll create a new connection. And say Use my internet connection, VPN. Here enter the public IP address that we entered earlier and give your new connection a name, then click Next. Here, enter the username and password of the user that you selected during the setup process. You also might want to select Remember This Password. Now, you will connect. Once you're connected, you'll see this message. Then you can close that and check your IP address with Google to make sure it's working. If it's not, go back and check the settings. Now that that's working, you can go back to your server and go to a website called No IP. What this does is give your IP address an actual web address. Since the service is free, it isn't going to be at a top level domain, but if you want that, you can certainly pay extra for it. So basically, you're going to create an account and then add a host. All the default settings should work and your IP address will even be automatically filled in. Now, all you have to do is choose your web address. Once you set that up, you can change it on your other computer as well. That's it. Now you have a working VPN. So now you can access network resources and browse securely on public Wi-Fi.